So, can we have that five minute lady up here, please? Honey. Honey. Um, honey? Yeah. But that makes me fat. I don't have... No. Uh, her name is Honey, by the way. I'm not calling her Honey and being, <laughs> being, a, um, being a chauvinist or anything like that, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, she put me in a difficult position, this Honey. This Honey? <laughs> Thank you for um, giving to, uh, to Kevin Buzzacott five minutes. Um, Kevin Borla Buzzacott. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I've come um, with a message from uh, Kevin Borla Buzzacott, uh, the elder from Arabana Country Lake Air. And um, uh, I am uh, sister to him, Skinway, and um, we do a lot of stuff together. And Kevin dearly wanted to be here today, Uncle Kev, but um, he has reasons that he couldn't come. And uh, he has a very quiet, very different message that he wanted to communicate to all of us and indeed to these committed, dedicated and often despairing groups right across the country dedicated to justice and reparation. Um, and uh, when I'm finished, I will, I do have to go after this, but I would like to leave. Um, there will be a pile of pamphlets there concerning this business, which Kevin is talking about, a great peace meeting and traditional ceremony with the old people in front of the whole country to be broadcast to this whole country and to bring at long last the voice of the Aboriginal peoples to this country. And indeed, if we can work together and bring this together really big, this will be the voice of the very oldest people, the elders of the earth to the entire world. That sounds big, but it is. This is, this is the biggest thing that we all face, I believe, in the whole world right now. So here's a message from uh, dear Kevin Buzzacott. Uh, <clears throat> and he spoke this to me on November 24th and also collected it from um, various speakings of Kevin over the many years that uh, I've known him. To all you good people gathered at the meeting for Sovereign Union in 2016, I'd really like to be here with you now. Sorry I can't. We got very big business happening this weekend around that uranium nuclear waste dump on our countries in South Australia. I have to stay here. We got to win it for the old country. She can't do it for herself. And my older sister, she is very sick. I must stay here for her too. A long time ago, year 2000, we walked, black fellas and white fellas, for four months, all the way from our country Lake Eyre to Sydney. And we come the right way through every country. We carried the sacred fire and we shared that fire and ceremony with the people all the way. And that fire still burns at the Aboriginal Tent Embassy. Today, a lot of us are old and sick and eyes going bad. Me too. While our people meet to talk, it's in all different places, all about different things. We lose the energy going in all different directions we can't get the big following we need. There's a lot of good people out there, black and white fellas too. If we cut them out, we cut out the good knowledge too. We've got to be hungry enough to put it all together. These good people groups, we all worry about the bad things, the sickness, the suicides, stolen children, young people dying in the family wars. And while we are meeting, everywhere, the old country is sick too. She's poisoned, dried out, trees gone, 
sacred waters polluted and gone. Our old people dragged themselves to meetings to get the message through to white fellas and to black fellas too. We can't walk away from our ancient love and responsibility for country. We can bring a big learning together, a wake up call. We're here because we love peace. We love our land. We don't want to destroy it, pollute it, turn its uranium into bombs. The sun, the moon, the weather, the birds, they've never lost their direction. It is humans who have lost, gone wrong way. Lost appreciation of all our proper purposes. Our job is to bring us all back. A long time ago, I said, we got to open the way to healing first, before anything much else can really happen. We've got to have a big peace gathering, big ceremony. Get the white fellas to come the right way and do it the old proper way, proper ceremony. Sit and listen to the old people talk, learn their stuff. This peace business must happen. The whole country, the good people, the spirit are all with us. Let's gather together and share our action. Some black fellas and white fellas this year, right now, got together to invite all the old people and young people from all of our nations to do this big ceremony together. Come the right way ceremony. Sorry business for all the death and destruction and get the whole country, all the people, to sit quiet and listen to the old people. These fellas all listened to what I said way back then, year 2000. These white fellas are already sending out invitation, yellow one, to our old people. They say, Please, can we meet you in ceremony? We are shamed by our history. They say, we want the whole country to change heart, to give love, to listen to the old people through broadcast across the country, broadcast to the world, the voice of the first people. We can do this if all the good people, the good groups like us here today, come together and make it happen. This peace meeting comes first. The spirit with us before all the political and the judicial and legislative changes can come about. This is the way to open the hearts Teach the white fellas, change their hearts and feelings, start the healing. I ask you, please, to carry this invitation to your old people and see that it gets to the old people in other nations. Help them, translate it for them, get the young people to help them understand and see it. Then, all the other good stuff can follow much more easily. The treaty, the true law, the true recognition, the proper providing, reparation, the clean-up, the good culture for all the young people. All those good necessary things. Then we can all go home. The old country bring us all home. May 2016, I wrote this tower down, this last bit, as Kevin spoke it. In the beginning, there was one people on earth. Then, some wanted to be other, and the people became divided. Eventually, 
There were many peoples. They all wanted different things. And now it is time to come back to the one. It is too big to take in what we are doing, where we are going. Thank you. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs>